imagine a world when, on joining a group, a young female mates with every single male in it? Yes, today we're going on a rumble in the jungle. There's the primate Pavarotti singing love songs. But beware of the jungle strangler. There's the date line and then there's Wallace's line. Do you know what that is? And it's in jungles like these that you find the primate that was once the rarest in the world. Let's start in the thick of things. Jungles girdle our globe. A precious green belt flowing along the line of the equator. Only 2% of the world's surface is covered by rainforest. Thick, impenetrable tangles of life. So thick and so impenetrable that one of our closest relatives in the animal kingdom was only discovered in 1929. They're found in the all-embracing forests of West Africa. They are bonobos, or pygmy chimpanzees. Their discovery sent primatologists scientists who study primates, into spasms of delight. A new ape was suddenly in their midst. They thought the bonobos would behave much like their well-known cousins, common chimpanzees. But they were wrong. To look at, they're very similar. Bonobo, chimpanzee. The bonobo's skin is mostly black. They have a little more hair. Chimp's face, on the other hand, is pinker. Bonobos have more slender limbs and are more likely to walk upright. The differences are slight. Maybe that delayed the identification of the bonobos. But in one vital way, these two biologically similar chimps are worlds apart. In the Thai forest on the Ivory Coast, a group of common chimpanzees are having a row. They're highly intelligent, but their disputes are nevertheless settled by the sword. Well, by shaking branches and making as much noise as possible. Here, it's patriarch power. The males are dominant. And groups of male chimps launch lethal raids on neighboring groups. 150 kilometers away, a group of bonobos start their day gently grooming each other. And the grooming is more about relationships than removing parasites. Arriving in a tree where others are feeding, a female will first mate with each and every male, including the adolescents. Sex is central to bonobo life. And when violence flares, which is uncommon, that's how it's diffused. Bonobos live by the axiom, make love, not war. And so it's the females who rule the roost. Mating is so common that female bonobos are rarely harassed by males. And so one of the major causes of aggression simply disappears. Chimps only have swellings like these when they're sexually receptive. Bonobos have them permanently. A feminine artifice that keeps the males guessing. Is it free love? All the time? When bonobos first came to light, it was thought that their upright stance, close communities and general peacefulness meant they were more closely related to us than the aggressive common chimp. And yet, when you reflect on the fact that there have been more than 200 wars since the bonobos were first discovered, it seems they've evolved way beyond us. Not only are they aggressive, common chimps are also great drummers. These Ringo stars of the rainforest hammer out messages on the roots and trunks of trees. Often it's the top male 
Advertising the tees back in time. <laughs> <laughs>